James told Zora to make his own show, but all of his ideas were a tragic mess. He was staring down the barrel of a huge crossbow when the little shit appeared with a magic chest. DVDs of horror classics with a special audio track with slasher super secret thoughts. Much to Zorin's shock. They talk! Omega Beta Zeta. Yes, is this Sarah Michelle Geller? Yes. Hey, it's your agent, Rick Springfield. Got some info on a new role for you, but I can't figure out how to add you to this email chain. CC? That's what it's called. Thanks. Oh, also, the wife was wondering, what's your favorite episode of Buffy? Ted? Really? The one with John Ritter? Yes. <laughs> I would have assumed you'd say hush or once more with feeling. That's what everyone usually says. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. All good, don't worry about it. Actually, while I have you on the phone, I just got word that they're thinking of rebooting Buffy, and what if I said they wanted you to return? What if I said goodbye? What if I said I need the money to pay for that lawsuit against the cigarette Springfield over my name? Why do you always answer a question with a question? Actually, it's a fun story. My father was the Riddler yeah, and... Yeah, uh... and I'm impatient. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because they're doing the show without you, and they're bringing back Joss Whedon. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your smile. I can see it in your name. Oh, God, Jesus. Hey, this is Gallup Prince Jr. Or whatever. I'm just here to do my job. Ah, come on, I'm just trying to kill you because your rotten score outweighs your fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It's just my job. I mean, you've been in a lot of crap. Harvard Man, Beverly Hills Family Robinson, Simply Irresistible, where you befriended a crab and cooked your feelings. I mean, come on. Ow, you hit me with a bite, you psychopath. Well, forgive my cruel intentions as I take possession of you. Oh, this is definitely ending happily never after. Oh, sorry, Daphne. Hope you don't hold a grudge one or grudge two. Actually, speaking of the grudge two, mind if I borrow one of the kills? I'll make sure to bring it back for the return. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I know what you did last summer. You die. <laughs> Ghost face out. Oh, come on. This is bullshit. Hey, don't in front. Ugh, this they talk show is completely inaccurate. First, it's pronounced Ghost Fasse, all right? I know, because I'm the real one. And I'm not a Rotten Tomatoes killer. I'm a film professor at Windsor College, which, by the way, fully justifies my IMDb knowledge of actors. Unlike this Zorin guy who's just flexing his nerd cred with super obscure references. Hey, you're Jerry O'Connell. <gasps> or was that supposed to be your secret identity? <laughs> no one remembers that TV show. Yeah, and another thing, wasn't this just supposed to be an audio track? Instead, he's poorly green screening people into different shots. <sighs> oh, damn, this is a small? I gotta take a piss. Hey, Steve, how's your penis doing today? Ah, you know, it's doing pretty good. Looks pretty normal to me. Hey, how's your penis? I gotta say, I'm having a really good penis day. Not too cold, not too hot in here. It's hanging just right. Hey, hey do, do you, you mind? mind? Oh, just trying to have a conversation about our penis. Get out of here. You want to try crossing the streams? Don't cross the streams! Oh, God, I love to pee. It feels so good. What? When did I eat asparagus? <laughs> oh, hey, who's laughing over there? Pink time is private time. It's my private! <laughs> oh, look at that, I made a new glory hole. I mean, it's far too high, and I guess it's for 2D penis? I don't see many of those outside that Rule 34 website, but... Hey, random stranger, how's your penis? Hanging like Drew Barrymore in a tree. Thanks for asking. Hope I'm not too late for the Nicole Kidman AMC ad. Baby, give it up. Oh, come on, it's like the A-list national anthem. Oh, no, thank you. The ad's starting. They've come to this place for magic. Uh-uh. See, if that was me, I would be out of there. Hey, shut up. You're trying to ruin the best part. That indescribable feeling we get when the lights begin to dim. No, 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 Don't do that. That's it. Do not disrespect the call. Oh, man, now I just wounded Woo. That's a low down, dirty shame. But well, might as well make the best of things. Why don't you take that red right hand of yours and put some of that blood in this magic demon key? No? Nope. Guess I'll just have to kill Miss Purdy. Ooh, right in my favorite part, too. Somehow, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Sir! Who are my manners? I never formally introduced you to my knife! Ha <laughs> ha! Her name is Gong Wong Wong. Hey, get my knife's name out of your fucking mouth! Oh, damn, wait for class. I love you, Nicole Kidman! AMC Theaters. We make movies better. All right, my name is Mr. Ghost Fosse, and today in film class we'll be discussing sequels. Who would want to do that? Sequels suck. No way. Okay, that's not true. I think sequels only suck if they become too self-referential and meta. I agree. Oh, goddammit. I'm making a sequel to They Talk Scream right now. You're all in it. 
And I believe that sometimes sequels can actually surpass the original. Oh yeah? Name one. Well, obviously Tremors 2 Aftershocks is equal if not better than the original, but I'm sure this guy probably likes five or six. Yeah, well, there's no accounting for taste. Name another. All right, you demanding little gummer. How about uh, Charlie's Angels Full Throttle or Shrek 2? You've got a hard-on for Cameron. Diaz? Oh, you better believe it. I saw The Mask during some very formative years, and even the mention of her name still gives me a... Um... <laughs> Will someone else go? All right, all right, all right, okay. House 2, the second story. Yeah, no argument here. I like the dog of pillar. Thank you. I agree with you. And let's not forget the greatest of all time, Aliens, with its quotable lines like, Game over, man! I'm a smelly little girl! Or, of course, get away from her, you bitch! I believe the line is, stay away from her, you bitch. It's film class, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's how I know the line is actually, Get away from her, you bitch! So I'll be seeing you after class, Mr. Kennedy. Hello, jackass! Why don't you step into my office for your evaluation? On today's episode of This American Life, we're talking about distractions in movies. We'll be answering questions like, why doesn't anyone hear this man being killed? Why would anyone dance like that? Now, there are certain rules you need to follow in order to survive my film class. Rule one, don't misquote James Cameron. Rule two, don't mess with tremors. Rule three, don't feed them after midnight. Sorry, wrong franchise there at the end. Oh, looks like you'll be starting out this first night of 2013 dead! <laughs> now for a Kaiser Soze walk away. Hard to whistle in mask. Okay, everybody gather around. Third act, one last time. Cue the music. I can't believe you're fired me for killing a student. Ugh, looks like I need a new job. Oh, actually, I wonder if there are any jobs in the theater department. Oh, behold! The dreaded fate of the Scream franchise! Uh oh That once stood proud on the shoulders of Wes Raven continues forward without Melissa Barrera or Jenna Ortega or Christopher Larkin. Maybe they can get Beth Campbell if they pay her what she rightfully deserves. Not now. Here stands Beth. Her morals, sense of worth, and integrity on display for all to see. Spirit fingers. No crime against gods or man have I committed, save to speak the truth. Okay, well, this is awkward. Uh, I'm gonna go see if the AV club has any job openings. Whoa, whoa, hey, come on, don't make it out during AV Claw. This is what I get for showing cruel intentions. It's so hot. Well, I got something to ruin the move for you. That's not my footage. Oh, yes, it is. Now admit that fat Monica perpetuates unfair stare. Oh, hey, Scott, was that black home back with dirt? Hello? Hey, Nev, I got fired again, so I decided to cheer myself up with a little karaoke. What do you want? Well, you'll never believe this, but I ran into the guitarist Buckethead here. Anything you want me to say to him? Why don't you show your face, you fucking coward? Rude. So, where are you taking us anyway? Don't ask, don't tell. Oh, if that's your policy, mind if I ask for your job? Ha <laughs> ha! Don't tell me if you don't want me to take it. Oh, good enough for me. Hey, ladies, I'll be your Lyft driver this evening. Now, I don't know the town very well, probably because it's a fictional one, so I'll just let the GPS do my job for me. Here we go! In two feet, hit the character actor. Ha, whatever you say. <laughs> At Lexington Lane, swerve erratically to the left. Yeah, I'm gonna get my swerve on. I'm gonna get my swerve on. It's 200 feet, hit my ex Samantha's fucking car. Oh, that's so personal. I hope you and Joaquin are really happy, bitch. Whoa, I guess hell hath no fury like a genderless AI scorn. Now, can we please get back on track? In 100 feet, end the pointlessness that is life. Wait, what? No! Oh! Oh. You have arrived at your destination. Ugh. Five stars, please. Well, can't hold down a job, so I guess the only way to make my money is to win it. Vegas style! <laughs> Taking all bets! Who do you think I am under this map? Let's find out together! It's time to finish the movie. It's time to win this right. It's time to show the killer on screen two tonight. It's time to trap you, Campbell, and give you quite a fright. It's time to see who done it on Scream 2 tonight. There's yet another song parody in this They Talk show? Why can't we just use dialogue? Because my friend Jordan needs the dough! 
Hey, I do the puns. You stick to songs. It's time to make some money. Let's hope you got it right. So let's unmask the killer. Why don't you unmask the killer? It's time to unmask the killer on the most sensational, inside baseball, self-referential, incomprehensible. This is who the killer really was. You're goddamn right. Oh boy, eek yuck. Pretty good, right? What the fuck? Oh, come on, this is bullshit. Can't believe I waited two and a half years for a They Talk Scream episode about a film professor who couldn't keep a job. That's not me, I'm a Rotten Tomatoes killer, through and through. Hello? Oh, looks like I'm back on the clock. Hey, Teenage Tiger, looks like you're so goo fucked. Oh, come on, Jenna, someone's gotta pay for Babysitter Killer Queen. Oh, fine, it had its good parts, but mostly it was shit. Oh, look at you crawling away, just like Studio 666, which I love, but Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 5666. Oh, I hate to do this to you, Miller's girl, but you need a little American carnage to pay for uh, American carnage. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 it's yes day, so you can't say no to dying. <laughs> oh man, I love my job. It's me, Ghostface Zorin, thanking you for watching this episode of They Talk. Got another contest at noon for finding these Easter eggs. Let us know on the Dead Meat Instagram where the Graboid egg and Critter egg are in this episode. James, of course, was the voice of Ghostface. Then we also had my wife Megan was in there. Chelsea was in there. We actually had Tim Choi from Dead Meat as the one-line dog pillar guy, which if you don't know what that is, you're, you're missing out. We also had Ted Evans return as Ira Glass, and we had my good friend Brock Powell as my pee buddy. Because if someone asks you to be their pee bro and make Ghostbusters jokes, you say yes! Thank you to Jordan Good for that amazing Muppet Show parody. Yay! And a thank you to Spencer Owen for a deleted song from Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. It was the Friends uh, parody. Uh, yeah, so this is the last they talk for the time being. We've postponed Halloween 2 because that is a really big episode. And I got a baby on the way, so it's really hard to make sure I'm able to get all of this done in time. But luckily, I will be returning for another kill count at some point in the near future, so look forward to that. And until then, I cannot thank you guys enough for all the kind words that you have said about they talk i put all the comments in my heart and i leave them there and it keeps my heart going we will return with a big big finale you're not gonna want to miss it and until then i thank james for telling me to make my own show even though all of my ideas were a tragic mess